Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and today I'm doing a Toy Hacks review because I received these stickers for this little guy right here. Fantastic figure in my opinion, but I know I'm super late to the game and I know... Like, okay, I ordered the Toy Hacks decals before I saw any review of the uh, Studio Series 86 Ironhide because I was not prepared to pay a Voyager price for a deluxe figure. And uh, now that I've seen every review, uh, you know, and imaginable on uh, this uh, the Studio Series 86 figure, I'm totally going to regret it. But I already have the decals, I have the figure, I'm just going to put it together. And uh, if I come across the figure, which unfortunately is already sold out at DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, stick to the end for your discount code. And I, I can't get it through him. So I'll have to check if I can find it uh, in stores. Like if I don't find him, I'm not going to be too upset. But if I do find it, I'm not going to be able to leave him on the shelf. I know that. So anyway, we're going to do this Toy Hacks uh, review. I hope you guys will like it. And um, don't forget to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm extremely proud of. And also check out the interview playlist. It's, uh, you know, got you know four or five videos in it now. And now let's roll the intro. All right, so I'm not gonna waste too much time on Ironhide before because everybody's seen this and you know the Ratchet repaint, which was a super exclu rare exclusive, and I like the way this uh, Ironhide look. I really do. I I don't mind not having an Earth mode because I like Cybertronian stuff a lot. So this is really you know not a bother for me. But I do wish, you know, the windows were uh, different, you know, painted uh, nicely. And I'm hoping, well, I know there's windows, but there's other decals too. So I think there's stuff that's going to go on the inside. And I'm looking forward to that. Because, I mean, there's a lot of battle damage on the foot. And you have uh, red, grape, and uh, some silver highlight. But that's about it. Nice blue eyes. But I'm hoping this set will give him some home. And maybe, you know, the gun, they could do something. But Toy Hacks historically doesn't do a lot of decals for guns. But the decal shed on foil backing looks really good. I mean, this is the window. I think this is for the inside. And I don't know where this is going to go. But definitely, if this, this is the, uh, you know, uh, I don't even recall the, uh, the Ep SOS Dinobot. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be something definitely I'm gonna put on higher and hide. Um, I think these might be brake pads or you know wheel highlights uh, that kind of would make sense or maybe it's hubcap yeah cuz I don't think yeah I think it's probably gonna be hubcaps stuff so that's oh, that's really neat uh, I don't see pin covers uh, so that's too bad but there's some uh, a lot of uh, decals to really enhance the uh, the look of the figure and then you have oh that's a nice plate g1 lover and one rhino run hid iron hide okay sorry my french was taken over for a while now this is gonna be ah uh, you know what i don't know if i'm gonna go with g1 lover or iron hide huh that's gonna be a tough call all right, so, oh, I think that's the face. Is that the face decal that used to, you know, they, they had a decal to go inside there. Oh yeah, I see the shape. Yeah, I'm gonna use that too. Unless the dinosaur takes precedence. So we'll take a look. And uh, all right, final look at Ironhide before he goes to the Cybertronian paint shop. I guess that's Wheeljack or Trax. Well, I'm tired of sucking their vapor trail. I'll stop them. And we're back from our trip at the paint shop. And let's take a look at what's left. Basically, um, this decal, um, we're showing calculations and you know, vectors and stuff like that. Um, I chose the, the dinosaur uh, fossil one. 
uh, but you still use these side ones so and then this goes with this and there's this decal here that goes with this one so pretty neat um, I went with um, G1 lover instead of iron hide uh, although this one it's it's pretty cool too and then inside that uh, the chest you'll see I chose the old G1 face because this seems to be I thought it was at first like molecules for you know DNA strands and stuff like that but then I realized that it's not it's uh, these are chemical components basically for his uh, as uh, ice gun well you know that from his hands I, I sorry I'm at a loss for words uh, but so basically those are the chemicals he used to do his special ability so um, I, I kind of wish I had um, figured that out first uh, because it's written really small so because uh, you have the element you know uh, oxygen and uh, hydrogen and stuff so uh, it's a very neat thing to have uh, on the uh, on the the, the, the bot, but uh, the uh, the face is gonna have to do for now, because yeah, I guess I can peel it off and switch it if I really want it. Uh, looking at Ironhide, uh, he looks amazing. I'm gonna remove the gun. Uh, nothing for the gun, as is standard. But he looks good. You have uh, nothing for the face, so that's cool because I don't like to apply eye decals. Uh, you have a little enhancement here. Could have used some pin covers. Uh, this set didn't have any. Uh, the um, window um, is it's that's my favorite kind of window. I mean, there's other types of windows where it's just one tone, but I really love this one. Every window should be like that. Inside, you have the G1 face all the way in the back. Looks really good. And then if you flip it like that, you have the dinosaur uh, fossil. Uh, but there's a lot of bubbles because of, you know, uh, the clips for the, the clear plastic, the glue with the uh, uh, the red plastic. So they have those little pins. So it kind of created some bubbles. Uh, but I like it. So I go dinosaur stuff. Uh, you have an enhancement on the forearms right here. And nothing for the this area here. Uh, and then the legs get uh, a knee and shin decal, I guess you could say it's shin. You have something for the interior. Uh, two decals, not bad. Nothing for the foot. Maybe, you know, could have used some red to maybe cover the battle damage. Uh, but it's not that necessary. And then in the exterior, um, you have uh, these two decals here, breaking out all the, uh, the red. So it looks really good. Anything else that shows in this mode? I doubt it. Uh, like in the back. Well, you have the plate, I guess. Oh, there you go. Final look at Iron Hide after the decals. Stop yapping, Blue Street. This is my fight. And in vehicle mode, unpopular opinion, I prefer this alt mode to a minivan. I mean, you know, the name Iron Hide screams of tough, hard experienced warrior and then on earth is a minivan which screams sucker mom or dad you know it, eh, it's not strong enough this looks badass i mean a lot of people complain about the engineering the simplicity and everything but it's still a great alt mode i love it but i'm hoping that toy hacks will give us a very uh, nice uh, you know breakage of the red here and Hoping for good windows again, and they never disappoint. And the wheels, uh, mentioned earlier, um, probably uh, the caps, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So there you go, final look to Ironhide before he goes to the paint shop. Don't worry, we'll get him! Ironhide! I'm coming, Ironhide! And we're back from the paint shop and he looks badass he looks amazing i love the look with the uh, the window and you, there's a lot of stuff that translate from robot mode so you have the same decals that you had on the leg showing up here i forgot to mention the silver plate lining here uh, looks really good and then also there's 
Uh, hold on, is there? No, I mentioned it. I thought there was another uh, one that I missed. Uh, the uh, you know this uh, it, it creates some uh, you know fans uh, to cool off the interior, I guess. So it looks pretty good. And oh, panels and then the wheels. The wheels were really long to apply, like each little red decal on each, and then this little. Uh, I don't know, hubcap thing. Um, but it does break out all the gray. Looks really good. And then you have the G1 Lover. That's a nice one. So, and then you have this little decals here. And then this was already there. And then you have this golden enhancement right here. So, looks really good. I mean, this is probably one of my favorite version of Ironhide. And that with the decals, he's even more fantastic. So, uh, really happy with this set. I'm gonna leave uh, my with my final thoughts here. Uh, I think the uh, Toy Hacks. This is an older set, so I think Toy Hacks now has become extremely proficient in making uh, great decals, uh, and they've been at it for years. And uh, the new style, because at the time Siege was a newer style of figure compared to Power of the Primes. Uh, or the whole Prime Wars trilogy. And I think Toy Hacks really you know, started making Siege. And this is a, um, an expensive set. And they could have used more decals on this, you know, this figure. Like, there's still a lot of red here and here. And, you know, in the back of the feet, still just red. So, but now they, they, they do... Uh, I think if they were to redo that set, you would have a lot more uh, details on it. So... But I love this set, it's fantastic, and I'm glad I got it. And basically buying this set and Huffer made me realize that I only needed uh, the few uh, G1 Autobots uh, to still apply decals to, so I'm going to finish that season. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. I love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.